I don't want to make a fuss. I suppose life goes on. The problem is I've lived too long. That is a quote from a gentleman who lives in Dorset, England, who is 98 years old and has most recently been evicted out of his home, a no-fault eviction, by the way, and is currently living in a hostel. And a council in England is kind of in charge of the housing said that he might have to be there for up to six to eight months. He has cancer, kidney disease, and a broken hip. And on top of that, this gentleman, by the name of Alfred Ganegott, is a D-Day survivor. I think it says a lot about where the priorities are in England right now. But in a larger sense, this is really indicative of how we treat our elderly in the world in a lot of places, including America. I know a woman who is currently living in a nursing home temporarily, and she has to fight just to be able to get them to give her medicines and to get out of bed or get back into bed. You hear of seniors living on a pittance of social security, if that, eating dog food and cat food. You hear of people getting scammed all the time, seniors losing everything in their bank accounts. And then on top of that, you end up getting people that are on programs like Medicare Advantage or Medicare disadvantage, as Tom Hartman would call it. And these are programs that basically just act as a middleman to get in the way of people with Medicare. You end up getting an insurance on top of whatever you have with your Medicare, and this insurance can deny you coverage. Whereas Medicare does not, Medicaid does not, but if you have this disadvantage program, what they call Medicare Advantage, it would force you to an appeal in a case like that and possibly not get the health care and surgeries or medicines or therapies you might need. That same woman I was referring to earlier might lose her therapy and if she loses her therapy her mobility is going to be even more degraded than it currently is, and that's going to jeopardize her ability to go home someday. I don't know why it's an issue in society that we don't care for our elderly, but on the face of things, one needs to ask, are we really a caring society in the first place? Do we care for anybody? Just look at the most recent Supreme Court ruling on affirmative action at universities. Is it really hurting to let these minorities in to give them a leg up after generations of poverty or servitude or Jim Crow or redlining? I, I mean, it just doesn't make any sense. You have one group of society who is trying to look out for the interests of all and not necessarily just, you know, in a, one particular nation, but across borders, across boundaries, across languages and religions. And then you have other groups that just want to stay the course and make things as difficult for people as possible. They only care about the people that are of their own group, whether that's their ethnic origins, or the color of their skin, or how much of money they have, or their popularity, or their religion, or their political affiliation. We as a country need to wake up to these issues, as does England, obviously, and take care of the least amongst us.
in speaking of Britain, ever since Brexit, inflation is rampant, and it's only gotten worse. Uh, thankfully, the temperatures didn't drop as much as they could have this past winter, which saved a lot of lives because a lot of people didn't have money to go and heat their homes. Like I said on a previous video, I spent $3.65 on a two liter of Coke. If all the prices are that high, you know, how can most people make ends meet? And that's just for something that's not even a necessity. I mean, just look at the cost of toilet paper. And I mean, basically, it's just wood pulp paper and water, you know? I mean, there aren't that many ingredients that go into it. It's not like it's that expensive to make, although it's bad for the environment. If you can use something like a bidet, I highly recommend it. I don't know. I, I just, I'm very heartened by the people that are trying to make a positive difference in the world. But unfortunately, it just seems like there are so many people who aren't, who are just going in the opposite direction, who don't care about anyone other than their own clan, for lack of a better term for ethnicity or group. I mean, I think really that's the whole definition of what wokeness is. It's being aware, being cognizant of the issues around us and not putting up with it. Let me know what your thoughts are below. And I know a lot of people think woke is just a hashtag and some form of fad, but I mean, this is real, folks. This is happening. And it's only going to get worse. And if anyone tells you that woke is stupid or whatever, or cancel woke, I've heard that several times, Tell them they don't know what they're talking about in a polite way, if you can. If not, ignore them. Take care, and thank you very much for watching.